Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to study a poem from Hornbill textbook. Now, this poem is called Childhood. It is written by Marcus Nutten. Now, this poem, you will find it in page uh, 58 of your Hornbill textbook. Now, this, uh, I'm going to explain the stanzas. Um, the There are uh, three and four stanzas here. So, this is the, uh, this is not, not a very long poem and it has a very good meaning to it as well. Now in the first stanza, the poet says, When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? Now in this first stanza of the poem, the, the poet is asking uh, that uh, asking when his childhood had gone now none of us can say that this is the day this is the time this is the exact day and date and time that we had lost our childhood that we became adult that we had entered our uh, adolescent stage or that we had entered our adulthood stage so the poet also suddenly realizes that he had already lost his childhood but he doesn't know when he had lost his childhood. He cannot exactly pinpoint the day or the time when he lost his childhood. So he was questioning. He is saying, was it the day I ceased to be 11? Cease means uh, stopped. Now, he said that, oh, oh, when is it the day? Was it that day when I uh, stopped? being 11 years old and when i just entered my 12th year now when i the day that i celebrated my birthday my 12th year birthday was that the day that my childhood had gone i don't know he was asking and he uh, again asked that was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography now in geography if you study geography you will know that uh, you, we used to study lots and lots of uh, the names of countries, the location. We used to study uh, different maps of the world of in geography. So he is asking, was that uh, the was it the day when I realized that hell and heaven? Now I think we all know what hell and heaven means. So he was asking whether it was the day that he realized that when he looked at the maps in, in geography maps. He could not find any hell or any heaven in those maps. So he was asking, was that the day that he uh, find out, uh, when he found out that uh, hell and heaven cannot be found in any geography bo uh, books, was that that day? He was asking himself, was it the day I lost my childhood? When, in the second stanza, when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that? Adults were not all they seemed to be. They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that that day? Now, in the second stanza, again, the poet is asking uh, when he had lost his childhood. He is saying, was it that day when I, uh, where did, when did my childhood go? When, when did my childhood go? When did his childhood go on away? Now, he was asking again, was that, that day when he realized suddenly he realized that adults these grown-up people they do not act according to what they were saying they they ask us to love each other to be in harmony with each other in in harmony with everyone to be friends with everyone but they themselves did not act very lovingly they themselves were talking bad about our neighbors or the, uh, or uh, some other people and they did not act very lovingly towards other people as well so was that the day that i realized that my childhood go go he was asking himself was it that day that my childhood had gone and he said that these adults they did not act so lovingly themselves even though they preach of love if they, even though they told us to love one another they themselves did not love each other very much so he suddenly realized was it that day and in the third stanza when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people 
but my own and mine alone was that that day now in the third stanza again he was asking when his childhood had gone and he was wondering was that that day when i found out that my mind was really mine means that human beings we all have our own minds we all have our own thinking so we can think about things and we can uh, uh we can think about so many things and we can sometimes we speak out our minds and sometimes uh, we did not speak out our minds but each of us have our own thinking each of us have our own uh, a way of thinking or a system of thinking and each of us can produce thoughts when we are thinking about things we are producing uh, so many thoughts about so many different uh, topics about our teachers about our school about our friends so we can think about anything we can produce all these kind of thoughts so he was thinking that uh, it was that the day that I lost my childhood was that the day when I suddenly found out that my mind was really mine uh, that means that when we were little child I mean little uh, babies we uh, cannot produce so much of our thoughts uh, and we cannot um, we, we cannot exercise so much of our thoughts and we cannot do according to what we want and we need help from our parents or we need help from other people, other adults uh, to stand up, to walk and to be able to go to uh, different places or to do this or to do that. So we needed so many assistance when we were little uh, babies, but suddenly we grow up and then we can produce our own thoughts. We can act according to our own thoughts. So the act. Uh, the poet is referring to these stages of uh, our lives and he is thinking that uh, was that that day that I found out that uh, I can produce thoughts on my own I can act according to my own thoughts so was that the day that I lost my childhood so he was again asking uh, when his childhood had gone now in the last stanza the poet is asking a little different where did my childhood go it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face. That's all I know. Now, he is uh, in the last stanza. The poet is say is asking before the poet is asking when, when, when. So he's asking when his childhood had gone. But in the last stanza, the poet is asking where, where his childhood had gone. So he wanted to know where his childhood had gone. But we cannot just go and find where our childhood had gone because this is not something that is uh, materialistic, something that can be uh, seen or produced before us. So uh, what happened is that the uh, poet is saying that um, he said that the only thing that he can uh, say about his childhood, the only thing that he can talk about his child, where his childhood had gone is that when he saw a little infant, a little uh, boy or a little girl's face and when he saw the innocent face of those children, he could know that it, his childhood had gone to some uh, other place, to some uh, other children's, uh, children's uh, innocence, to, to the innocence of the children. When he saw all this innocence of these children, then he knew that his childhood had gone to some forgotten place some place um, that he will only remember in his mind uh, but which he cannot revisit any time in his lifetime so he knew that his childhood had gone somewhere he cannot uh, go back to his being a child now and so he's, he know that when he saw these uh, innocent faces of the children he knew that his childhood had gone somewhere uh, which is already some somewhat forgotten. So this is what the poet uh, the poet is talking about in this um, in this poem childhood. So uh, with that we have finished this chapter again. And uh, please go to your textbook, read your textbook, read the text for all the other lessons as well. Please read the text so you will know how and. Uh, you know how and uh, the the meaning as well as the 
you know, what is written in your text and also how to answer your questions uh, when the time of examination comes. So with that, I will say thank you class for today and I hope to see you in the next class very soon.